Spina bifida is a fairly common birth defect that occurs in one to two out of every thousand live births. What normally should occur early in fetal development or the development of your baby is the neural tube starts off as a flat plate of cells. And then around six weeks into development, that flat plate zips itself, closes, and forms the neural tube. Inside that tube, the nerves from our brain run down to our limbs, so to our arms and to our legs. And the neural tube forms a protective barrier so that those delicate nerves don't get damaged. In cases of spina bifida, also known as a neural tube defect, what happens is that zipping process doesn't go quite right. And there can be a gap in the neural tube that allows those delicate nerves to come out of the body, usually out of the skin, and they're damaged as in exposure to the amniotic fluid. When there is damage to those nerves, when the babies are born, we do surgery to repair the opening, but the nerves have usually already suffered some damage. As a result, people or babies with spina bifida or children with spina bifida usually have some degree of paralysis or um, the inability to use their legs to some extent. So some people with spina bifida will undergo surgery and have a limp or need some sort of help with bracing. Other people with spina bifida will use a wheelchair. So there's some degree but usually, no matter when we are able to do surgery, there's some damage to those nerves. Spina bifida can happen in any pregnancy to any woman. We know there are some risk factors that can make a pregnancy at higher risk to have a baby with spina bifida, and those include moms who are diabetic, when there's been a family history of other individuals with a neural tube defect, or some women on certain medications. But most of the time, spina bifida happens in a pregnancy where we didn't know there was a higher risk. And that's why we talk so much about folic acid. Folic acid is a B vitamin that we know helps reduce the incidence of spina bifida. Usually, people get folic acid in their diet, but we recommend that any woman of any childbearing age take a vitamin that has 0.4 milligrams of folic acid. Because that neural tube closes so early in pregnancy, sometimes a neural tube defect has formed before a woman even knows she's pregnant. For women that we identify that are at higher risk to have a baby with spina bifida, we'll typically recommend more folic acid. So it's a good idea to talk to your OB if you're considering having a baby and think you have any risk factors that would increase the risk for this birth defect.